Okay, in eLearn, uh, we got an assignment called Magazine Cover. It's a Photoshop assignment. Um, the premise is you're going to be featured on the cover of the, your the favorite magazine of your choice. Um, it could be People Magazine, Rolling Stone, Time, Seventeen, Vogue, Game Informer, Vibe, CNN, ESPN, Glamour, Cosmopolitan, and so on. But it has to be a real magazine. Uh, here's some uh, good examples. Now these are former students, real pictures of them. Now some of them have been photoshopped quite a bit. Like he's not really sitting on that car. It's actually the table in the back of the room. Or some of them are actually in a real environment. But it has to look like a real magazine. So the first thing you need to do is when you start Photoshop, it needs to be 8.5 by 11 inches. So you will open up Photoshop and go File New. Uh, the width. Uh, what what I would probably do is go uh, under uh, Preset. Just do U.S. Paper. All right. So you you would do U.S. Paper under Presets. I would name this uh, Magazine Cover. Uh, resolution when you're doing something for uh, print you need to leave it high so I would leave it between 300 or 150 pixels per inch background color it doesn't matter I'm leaving it white and click OK now that's setting it up now here's here's the one that I, that's on my wall that I've already pre-made now if you notice I got a whole bunch of different text. I got um, text effects. You see the FX? You click on FX down here to add the different uh, layer styles. I got family values. Each one has its own little text box. Uh, remember, you have to put the date of the issue. More, more titles, more layer effects. Try to add a little bit of variety. But these are little fake articles that kind of went with the type of picture I did and the type of magazine. Um, no, it's nothing. I notice uh, really the picture cut, uh, cut off right there. So what I did was add a black bar and then another like second feature article right there. Um, I got the families of the year. Now I got the family circle text. I had to do a lot of research and I found an actual family circle magazine and I tried to match that font exactly. Um, we got my family's picture here and look I used a layer mask. Uh, to um, get the background out that's a fake background I'm not really st we're not really standing right there um, and huh, this, this is actually an old picture from a previous magazine cover my kids kids have grown but uh, this is the background see I had a, a different whole solid like a gradient color background before. So you can play around, find the background you want, make it look nice, use high quality pictures. Don't look don't use something that looks uh, pixelated. See how clear these pictures are? It's good quality. Now back to the uh, instructions. Now you must have a real, use a real magazine and match the font as close, close as possible. You can download the font from thefont.com. I put a link right there. Now, in the instructions, I put some names of some of the uh, fonts that are that I did some research. Name of some of the fonts for some of the magazine covers. It, um, if you don't like those. I would click on uh, let's 
some of the uh, various uh, magazine covers and top in the name of your magazine and get a preview of what it looks like and click submit and then just kind of go and see if it, any of these look like the title of your magazine and download and install it now it took a uh, that that was probably what took me the longest was finding the perfect title but you want to have that that magazine cover uh, title looking exactly like it now you notice a lot of magazines put like the person featured like their head or something in front of the title now that's done through layers now you notice if I move family circle in front see it's in front of me now I move it back and my head's in front of it so you work work with your layers You notice I worked I had a couple, uh, several pictures and I, I, I tried to figure out which one would work best so give yourself several options uh, now back to the instructions now uh, you must have a cover story about you now mine was uh, Family of the Year 20 2009. That's when that picture was taken. Uh, we didn't really get Family of the Year. A lot of people think that's a real magazine cover, but it's not, which is actually a compliment. Um, three to four other feature stories, like just fake little stories, how to raise a smart kid. Ways to make a child feel special. How high tech hot list. Cool stuff for you and your kids. Now here's another feature story. If you want to have other pictures and have another fake story, do that. The next thing is you must have a barcode. Now uh, let's talk about the barcode. It must be a realistic looking barcode with the price. Now you can download this one. click and then choose open with Photoshop click OK update there you go now I got the text tool I can change the price now you got all these layers now you can't just drag one layer and move it move it in here So what you have to do is you get to barcode the way you want it and then you go layer flatten image get it one layer and then you can drag it into your magazine cover and place your barcode now if you need to resize it shrink it command T bigger or smaller hit return there you go But that's how you do the barcode and then you after you get in there you can close it I have a copy of that barcode on the server too um, in the group home folder but the uh, easiest way is to download it from uh, eLearn back to the directions you must have the date and month year of the magazine issued November 2009 you could have the day or just say November 2009 each magazine usually is issued once a month uh, scanned or digital image of yourself so you could take a picture in photo booth if that's the only way or I could take a picture of you in the lab or you can use a picture that you have that you like uh, that you have on Facebook or on your phone or something but make sure it's of good quality make sure the layout arrangement is simple and the fonts are easy to read notice I put a black stroke around this so it pops out it doesn't blend in the background um, let me show you what I mean like let's look at high-tech hot list right here 
I remove the effects. See, it doesn't pop out as much. Add it back, and, and it stands out. Um, digital interactive media, or family values. Let's see. I love you in red. Let's take the effects off. It just doesn't pop out as much. So a little bit of stroke makes it, even if it's a little bit. See, I have that size 5, but you can shrink or increase or decrease it. Um, so date and month of the magazine issue. Uh, be creative. Take your time. Uh, one more thing, uh, you know, you can use effects. Try not to make it look cheesy. I mean, black and white or sepia. Um, notice one thing that bothers me is when people put text right up against the edge. Leave a little margin space. Don't put text right up against the edge. Um, you can use little color bars. You can use auto shapes. I saw somebody uh, did uh, an example with like a star and then text in the middle of the star there. But uh, try try to uh, model good design. Um, here's some oh, yeah, I like that one. Those are some examples. Let me go to the Dropbox here. And let's look at some previous students. Drum Magazine, ESPN. That's not a real magazine. That person got points taken off. Plus, it's tacky. Um, I don't think that's a real magazine. See how that white kind of makes that washed in? It's hard to read. So, try to, maybe if they used a yellow or a red. Um, I don't think that's a real magazine. That one's nicely designed, but that's not a real looking barcode. The goal is to go for real. Oh, okay, she's right there. Now this guy, he took the picture on the back of the room on the table and then uh, cropped himself out and made it look like he's sitting on the car. Good idea. But don't use a text like this. That looks amateurish. No magazine's going to do that. Plus, it blends, it washes right in. Let me try to find some good examples. That one looks pretty nice, but that's that's not the person. Don't you have to use yourself? Time Magazine. Could it? You can see the. Uh, you know, use masking. Don't use uh, the eraser tool. Use masking and blend it in so it looks more natural. This was really well done right here. The only complaint I would have is that text is right up against the margin right there for 2011. But that looks like a real Teen Vogue magazine. I like the colors. I like the stroke and the variety. That's really well done. Um, that one's pretty cool. A little action shot. An auto shape was used. Barcode, no price, no date though. Game Informer. Don't use pixelated images. They have to be good quality images. That that prom. See the P? You barely can read that. A, a black stroke around that would have solved that. They put a little glow behind that one. I like these these boxes right here. National Wildlife. I like the text. Not that much one so much, but that one's a little too plain.
This one is really well done. I like this star here. That looks magazine quality. The only complaint is she should have used a stroke around those because those kind of wash in the backgrounds. See, they, she used a stroke right there. There's one more I want to show you. One more I want to show you before we quit. <laughs> Forbes magazine. That one's pretty good. This one kind of added band pictures. Halftime magazine. I like I like the little bar behind the head. That one's pretty good. That one looks pretty real. That one's not the right size. I can tell right there. It's not 8.5 by 11. Huh, that one's kind of cute. That one's good. That one's cute. I like that one. Footwear Plus. That one's done really well. Interview Magazine with the website. All right. Yeah, this is the one I was wanting to tell you. See how they use black boxes? I mean, uh, uh, the orange box with the white text so it doesn't fade in. Variety in color. Color coordinated. A good quality pick. Barcode. Price, month of issue, and year. That one's pretty good. But that's the magazine cover assignment. When you're done, you're to say, save it as, let's pretend we're in 3A, so we'd put 3A underscore last name, first initial, Put your last name, underscore magcover.psd, and then export it as a uh, JPEG and turn it in the Dropbox. Um, remember, to export, you would go File, Save for Web, you can choose a JPEG quality and then save and and put it in your uh, second six weeks folder and that is the magazine cover assignment all right one last thing I want to talk about is importing from like your phone or uh, another device now it's really easy all you got to do is use image capture. So you would click up here, type in image, and then choose image capture. Now your device should show up right there. Now it might try to open up aperture when you open, but when uh, you need to change that to say image capture when connecting this camera, which I have my phone right now. Now you go and you find the image that you want say where you want it to import to you could say your desktop or your actual documents folder and then click import and it imports what you have selected if you choose import all it select imports everything also be careful you don't have delete after import if you don't want it deleted off your phone but uh, just choose import and it imports the what you have selected you can hold down shift and select more, hold down command and select ones in between. But just click import and it imports it from your phone. That is image capture. And that is it.